super awesome to see you on a day two for our rock slash yoga warrior series. In today's session, we will focus on three things. So first is posture, second, soft eyes, and third is breathing. So as yesterday, I will open uh, the Rock Warrior's Way book and I will read a few sentences from it. So Arno says that proper posture opens our chest cavity and enhances the quality of our breathing. It places us in a position of alertness and readiness for action. Use proper posture and poise while standing and climbing. Stand in balance, straighten the back, bring the hips in and bring your shoulders back, open the chest. This body positioning brings with it a sense of confidence. So in today's class, we will focus on posture and in particular our spine. We want to have a healthy spine so we could have a proper confident posture. Then the second thing is the soft eye focus. We will try to keep our gaze soft and relaxed, so not too intense. And then the third one is breathing. So when we are stressed, our breath becomes shallow and erratic. So deep, regular breathing, on the other hand, can reduce stress. Therefore, in today's session, we will try to make a conscious effort to breathe more deeply, calmly and slowly and continuously. So let's start seated in a comfortable position. You can always put a little pillow underneath. This will help to lower your knees down. And then let's take a few moments to arrive to our own body. Imagine that you have a string which is going from the top of your head, so it's lengthening your upper body up. Bring your head slightly back, so the back of your neck is long, your shoulders are relaxed. Let's make a few circles with our shoulders to make sure that the shoulders are relaxed. The muscles around our eyes are also relaxed, so you can take your fingertips and massage your temples. Massage your eyebrows to make sure that your eyes are relaxed. Take an inhalation. Exhale, sitting tall and confident. And now gently lower your right fingertips on the right side. With inhalation, lift your left arm up for a side bend. So feel the lengthening sensation on the left side of your body. Imagine that there are more bigger gaps in between your ribs. Our left armpit is looking up, so it's not looking down. We can support ourselves on the fingertips. This way we'll start to warm up our wrist as well. Take an inhalation in this position. Exhale and swapping sides. So left fingertips on the left, right sit bone is sitting down. Inhale, right arm up. So feel this lengthening sensation as if you want to reach something up, try not to squash too much our left side. Let's stay here for one breath, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, and then gently come back into the center, open up your arms wide, lengthen your arms, and now we will go for a spine twist. So twist to the right side, Try to keep your chin above the middle line of your chest. So sometimes we twist, we focus on the twist from our neck. We want to focus on the twist from our middle spine. Shoot the arms to the sides, take an inhalation. So here we are using our muscles, exhale, swapping sides. So now to the opposite direction. Using the back muscles for a twist, inhale. Exhale, gently come back into the center and let's meet in a tabletop position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, spread your fingers wide, knuckles pushing down, especially the knuckle index. So here we will go through cat and cow. So with inhalation, gently arch. Exhale, round your spine, your chin can go towards your chest, push the ground away from you. Inhale, gently arch. Exhale, round. And let's do it several times. 
And here we want to continue to focus on our spine. So healthy spine, moving our spine in forward, in flexion and extension, so rounding and gently arching. Last cycle of breath, inhale, exhale. Then come back into the center. Continue to push the ground away from you. Put your knees together. Then lift your feet up and start to uh, move your feet to one side and then the other. And we move it from inertia. So to one side, the other. Maybe create more space in between your hands and your knees. And here, when you move to one side and then the other, start to bring your attention to your spine. So feel how the movement travels up towards your neck, towards your shoulders. So the movement is rippling up like a snake from your feet up to your shoulders and your head. So here we are not forcing anything, just a gentle movement to move our spine. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale and start to make the movement slightly smaller. Smaller until we stop in the middle. Open your knees wider apart and now threading the needle. So right hand goes in between your left hand and your left knee. Lower your right shoulder down on the ground. Few options, maybe left arm in front of you or left arm behind you to touch your right hip. Then choose whichever position feels good for your hand or perhaps even keeping your left hand on the ground. And then if you want to extend your left leg back behind you. Few options, we can lift our left leg up if we have our left leg extended. So for extra challenge and balance, again, not necessary. We can just simply enjoy the twisting sensation by lowering the right shoulder down on the ground. Take an inhalation. If you had your left leg up, lower your left knee down. With the help of your left hand, push yourself up back into a tabletop position. One cycle of cat and cow, so inhale, gently arch. Exhale, round. Come back into the center. Now left hand goes in between your right hand and your right knee. Lower your left shoulder down. Your right hand maybe stays next underneath your shoulder or underneath your right elbow or perhaps extending your right arm in front or a right arm behind you towards your left hip. You know what to do with your leg, so maybe extending your right leg behind you, or maybe even lifting your right leg up. If you lift your right leg up, keep your core engaged, so for to help us for balance. Continue to breathe in this position, inhale, continuing to twist, Exhale, one more time, inhale, and then on the exhalation, lower your right knee with the help of your right hand, push yourself back up into a tabletop position. Now we will go for a puppy pose. So hips above your knees, so check that your hips are above your knees, extend your arms in front of you, lower your forearms down, and imagine that you want to stretch your armpits, so you can lower your head down, here, if you know that you're very flexible, try not to collapse too much. Keep engagement in your arms. So perhaps pushing your palms down into the ground and pushing your forearms down into the ground as well. So keeping a slight activation. Continue to open up your chest, stretch your armpits. Again, thinking about our posture opening the chest and at the same time bring your attention to your breath. So feel the inhalation, feel the exhalation. One more time, inhale, exhale. Then super slowly let's meet back into a tabletop, hands underneath your shoulders. Then tuck your toes underneath you 
and let's meet in a downward looking dog. You can keep your legs bent as much as you'd like. You can explore the stillness in your downward looking dog or perhaps pedal your legs. So bend one knee, the other. So whenever we are moving in whichever position, we try to do it mindfully, exploring the little sensation, what happens in the body when you bend the knee, when you move your hips to one side or the other. Let's take one breath through the nose. So inhale and then open your mouth, exhale everything out. Then start to walk your feet to the front of your yoga mat. So your feet meets your hands. Just hang in there. You can grab your opposite elbow, sway to the left and to the right or forward and back. Keep your legs bent as much as you'd like. Inhale, exhale. Then bend your left knee, put your left forearm on your left thigh and with inhalation, right arm goes up towards the sky. So we have a spine twist and then at the same time, we feel the lengthening sensation on the right leg. If it's, if you don't feel, or if you'd like to feel slightly more intense, you can lower your left fingertips up, up and down on the ground and continue to lift your right arm up. Inhale. On the exhalation, swapping side. So straighten your left leg, bend your right leg, right forearm on your right leg. And with inhalation, left arm up. If that felt good, lower your right fingertips down. But what we want to have, right leg is bent, left leg is straight, left arm is shooting up, spine twist. Inhale in this position. Exhale. Then one more time, inhale. And on the exhalation, lower your left hand down, bend your knees even more, and one vertebra at a time, start to lift yourself up. Your head is the last to rise. Roll your shoulders back. And exhale, relaxing your body. So for a healthy spine, uh, we want to focus on four things. So one is forward bending. The other one is back bending. So flexion and extension, also side bending and then twisting. So all of these four things, we are doing them today in this class. So now put your weight to your right foot and with inhalation, lift your left knee up, flex your left foot, inhale, arms up, and then exhale, twist to the left side. So first using our back muscles, arms shooting to the sides, twisting to the left, take an inhalation. On the exhalation, right hand next to your left, maybe twist slightly deeper. So now we are helping ourselves to twist with our right hand. Inhale, exhale, continue to sit, stand tall, Ankle is working, take an inhalation, exhale, come back into the center, shoot your left leg back into a warrior three for a moment, inhale, exhale, left foot goes down, we are in a high lunge. So if usually you have a very wide um, high lunge, bring your left foot slightly closer so you can even keep your left knee bent. Imagine that your pelvis is like a cup and you have tea inside your pelvis and we don't want to spill the tea. So check that your pelvis tailbone is looking down and we are not spilling tea into the front. Now with inhalation, lift your arms up. Maybe I will bring my right knee slightly further. It will be more comfortable. So finding a comfortable position, lower your right hand down. A right hand wants to touch your left hip. Now side bend to the right side. So we feel the lengthening sensation from our left foot to our left fingertips. Take an inhalation, exhale, 
one more time inhale and now on the exhalation lower your left hand down you can now push your left foot more back and with inhalation right arm shoots up towards the sky three circles with your right arm from your right shoulder so big circles as if you're drawing a big zero exploring the sensation in our spine so twisting chest is open and maybe it was fourth circle no problem lower your right hand underneath your right shoulder bring your right foot back into our high plank in our high plank index knuckle is pushing down fingers spreading wide and shoulder blades are away from each other inhale on the exhalation, lower your knees down, untuck your toes, lower your whole body down. Now open up your arms by the side of your body. Palms are looking down. This way we can open up our chest. And with inhalation, lift your feet up, lift your arms, head, shoulders, and chest up. The back of your neck is long. Your back body is really working. So this is another really good posture for our back because we are opening up our chest using our back muscles in this position continue to breathe and also have a soft gaze so even if it might be not comfortable we still try to continue to have a comfortable soft gaze take an inhalation exhale one more time inhale on the exhalation, hands underneath your shoulders. Let's meet in a downward looking dog. Spread your fingers wide. Index, index knuckles are pushing down. With inhalation, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Bring your right foot into the front. Your left foot meets your right. Bend your knees and with inhalation, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale arms by the side of your body now put your weight to your left foot and with inhalation lift your right knee up flex your right foot with inhalation arms up lengthen your whole body exhale spine twist to the right side continue to breathe twisting using our back muscles so when we sit, um, quite a lot of us, I guess, we sit a lot during the day, whether it's cycling, trains, cars, or computers. So we are not using our spine enough. Therefore, it's really good for our spine to have, to move it in different directions. So flexing, side bending, forward fold, back bending, take an inhalation. And on the exhalation, lower your left hand on top of your right knee and maybe twist slightly more. We don't want to push anything too much. So finding a sweet spot, take an inhalation, exhale, one more time, inhale. On the exhalation, come back into the center and then warrior three, push your right foot back, arms maybe by the side of your body, flex your right foot and then high lunge, right foot back. Keep your left leg bent and again, Tuck your pelvis, so we have a tea inside our pelvis. We don't want to spill the tea. Maybe keeping the right knee slightly bent, the right glute is engaged. With inhalation, both arms up. Then lower your left hand down. Left hand goes behind to touch your right hip and gentle side bend to the left side. Keep the right glute engaged, lengthening the right side of your body. Take an inhalation, exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhalation, lower your right hand down and then perhaps sweep your right foot more back and with inhalation, left arm goes up. So we are in a spine twist. We try to open up our chest and let's make 
four circles with our left arm from our left shoulder. So very controlled rotations. So our joints really like when we make these controlled big rotations. So it's like a lubricating your joints like a bicycle chain. Take an inhalation and then lower your left hand down. Bring your left foot back into a high plank. Push the ground away. Index knuckle is pushing down. Fingers spreading wide. Your shoulder blades are pushing away from each other so there is no valley in between your shoulder blades. Take an inhalation. Exhale, knees down, untuck your toes, lower your whole body down, and then extend your arms in front of you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your elbows, elbows towards your ribs, spread your fingers wide, legs are lifting as well. No need to lift too high, just imagine that you want to lengthen first and then lift. So with inhalation, extend your arms, and then exhalation to bend. Two more times, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Lower your hands, downward looking dog. So perhaps onto your knees, downward looking dog. With the inhalation, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bring your left foot into the front of your yoga mat. Your right foot meets your left. Bend your knees and with inhalation, rising your arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Reminding ourselves of Arnold's quote, that to stand tall, chest is open, shoulder blades together, soft eyes and calm breath. So inhaling, and exhaling. Now we will do Jefferson curls, they're called. Usually people are using some weights. We will do it without weights. And you're always welcome to incorporate some weights in the future. So here basically we will roll down and then we will roll up several times. So inhale first. And then on the exhalation, start to roll down onto the ground. One vertebra at a time. And then lift yourself back up. One vertebra at a time again. On the exhalation, roll forward, head, shoulders, chest. Going back up. And last one, inhale. Exhale, roll down. So this is like a medicine for your spine to use and to move your spine, staying down onto the ground. Bend your knees and then let's step into a high plank. Stay in a high plank, inhale. On the exhalation, lower your knees down. Open your knees wider apart and child's pose. Extend your arms in front of you. Continue to sit with your sit bones down onto your heels and lengthen your arms a few centimeters more. So fingertips going forward. Take an inhalation. So calm, deep breaths. So calm breathing. Calm breathing can calm our nervous system. Then we show our parasympathetic nervous system that we are safe wherever we are and there is no danger. So our nervous system can relax. Take an inhalation. And now with your fingertips, go to the left side. So feel the lengthening sensation on the right side. You can lower your left 
ribs on the left thigh. You can keep active child's pose, so maybe on your fingertips, elbows are lifting or elbows down. If you'd like even more, you can put your right hand on top of your left hand. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhalation, walking to the other side, so right ribs on top of your right thigh, feeling the lengthening sensation on the left side of our body, so side bending. Perhaps left hand can go on top of your right hand, if that feels good. Continuing to sit down onto our heels, take an inhalation, exhalation. One more time, inhale. Exhale, and then come back into the center. Super slowly make your way, so lower your belly down onto the ground, so maybe knees together, lowering yourself down. And then arms are bent 90 degrees, elbows are underneath your shoulders, palms are pushing down. We want to open our chest, lengthen your neck, kneecaps are engaged. So stay here, you can gently close your eyes. Again, not forcing anything, but continuing to open our chest. Push the ground with your palms down. Take an inhalation. Exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhalation, lower hands are underneath your shoulders. Let's meet back onto our kneeling position. With inhalation, lift your arms up. Exhale, arms by the sides. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bend your arms. Last time, inhale. Lengthen, exhale to bend, shoulder blades together. Now sit onto the left or onto the right side. Extend your legs in front of you and make your way down onto the yoga mat by lowering your spine down. Hug your knees towards your chest, rolling to the left and to the right, massaging your back. Then extend your right leg down onto the ground. Keep your left leg bent towards your chest. Perhaps move your hips first to the left and twisting to the right side. So left knee to the right side. We want to keep both shoulders on the ground. It would be nice to put like some pillows or something underneath your left knee. So for support. So again, as an option for future or for now, if you have a pillow nearby, you can support your right hand on top of your left knee. Just resting gently, no need to push anything. Coming back to the breath, so inhaling, exhaling. With the next inhalation, gently come back into the center. Extend your left leg down onto the ground, hug your right knee towards your chest. Shuffle your hips first to the right and right knee goes to the left. Maybe left hand gently rests on top of your right knee, right shoulder is also down onto the ground. Again, not forcing anything, being kind to ourselves, kind to our spine. Inhale, exhale, just softening and melting down into the ground, relaxing all the muscles, and especially with every exhalation, we try to let go of any tension from our body. One more time, inhale. Exhale fully. Gently come back into the center. One more time, hug your knees towards your chest. Gently roll to the left and to the right. So we are finished for today. You can lower your legs down, maybe knees together. Um, if you'd like, stay in Shavasana for a few moments just to do nothing, to breathe, 
but I suggest to stop the recording so another video doesn't start automatically. And you're finished for day two and I really hope to see you or better to say you see me for a day free, so tomorrow. Big kiss, big hug and all the best.